what I will say is if you are not a planner, you're not somebody that plans trips in advance and you're just kind of on the fly and then maybe you need some directions, you're gonna have to pull over and, oh, somebody's getting pulled over in front of me. Speaking of pull, pulling over, oh man, that sucks. You're gonna have to pull over. <laughs> I can't believe the timing on that. <laughs> What's up, Talks? I'm really loving my Beeline Moto. Uh, we're not navigating right now, but uh, but as you, I don't know if you can see this, the battery life on this thing is really good. Not only does it charge really fast from uh, zero to 100 uh, percent, I rode with this thing on. I never turned the, the, the Beeline off during an entire trip. I was out for five hours but we, riding time was probably around uh, three hours. And we still have 68% battery life. That was a week ago. Uh, when I charged it to 100%, uh, and, uh, and then we ended up doing that right uh, a few, uh, a few days later, the battery was down to about 94% from 100%. And then after that five hour trip, uh, it was down to about 74%. And now, a week later, it's at 68%. This, at least when out of the box, this battery on the on the Beeline Moto, you know, it's there's not a whole lot to it. There's a backlight, uh, but other than that, it's a really simple uh, navigation tool, and I I love it. I absolutely love it. It carries this theme of round, 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 and it doesn't break this up. I've got my camera here, which you know that's this is part of vlogging, so uh, can't do much about that, but. It's not so invasive. It's not having my phone display up here. It's not having a big navigation screen up here. It's simple. It does what it, it's supposed to do. Um, that's, that's, that's the battery life. Now, navigation wise, this thing is awesome because it's hooked up to your phone. Even when we were kind of out in a, uh, like a mountainy area, when I was kind of putting it through its paces last week, uh, it was still, it still knew where we were. It still was giving me directions. Uh, the other thing about uh, the navigation is once you get off track, and I'll, and I'll put a link to the, the video, the original video, where I was just kind of setting the, the beeline up, was that it, uh, it, it, just like that, it, it takes less than a second to reroute you. And the, the main part of that is the beeline app, which is hooked up to Google Maps, all that stuff, as long as you have GPS on your phone, uh, you're you're all set that it just feeds through to this device and it does it so seamlessly uh, that it's just incredible we tried out the uh, the multi-purpose mount the the, the uh, all-purpose mount with the elastic straps ended up using the, the bigger strap the bigger uh, the rub bigger rubber rubbery uh, bands to mount uh, the beeline on on my other my other bike the switchback and uh the the problem with with the the mounting device is that you you have to have and th this is the same thing what i'll what i'll say about this this mount that i have here which is the the bar clamp mount this mount and the the, the all-purpose all mount is that there the, you can only adjust it up and down and kind of side to side uh with this mount you can go you can do these rotational uh adjustments and then up and down but what happened was on the risers on my my switchback uh it was just in a weird place i couldn't find a place on the handlebars uh to mount it uh that i liked and so it ended up being in this weird place where it was hard to see now that doesn't mean that uh that, that doesn't have any bearing on the actual device. What I'll say is it does come with like a, a, a sticky mount that you can put uh, on on your bike. I don't know where you could put that on your handlebars. And really, when you when I think about it, mounting it with that sticky mount, uh, even though it gives you a little, uh, a couple more degrees of adjustability, I I didn't like uh, that sticky mount. It was it's it's kind of a light 
I wouldn't say cheap plastic, but it's a light plastic, uh, lightweight plastic. And uh, I just, I don't, would never trust adhesive mounts on, on any uh, motorcycle. So uh, that, that, that's, that's a small gripe and it just has to do with the mount, but the device itself, uh, I, I have loving so far. Um, this is just a short term, short, short term review. So uh, we'll do a longer term review after we've had it for a while. But this is just, uh, I've put, been putting it through its paces and, and testing out different functionality. Uh, what I like also about the device is that it has a button on each 90 degree angle at top, bottom, and side to side. Uh, they aren't recessed or anything, um, but it, yet it still has this clean look. You know, you've got these, bu these tactile buttons on all sides, but they're not, it, it, it doesn't break up like just the sleekness of the device itself. I like it and because they're not recessed, it's easy to find with a gloved hand. I can easily find these buttons uh, even with gloves on. I was wearing uh, cold weather gloves on my, my trip last weekend and still, even with those big thick gloves, I was still able to find those buttons. So that's a, that's a big plus for me. You know, sometimes when you get devices that are going for a look, they'll recess these buttons so that you can't see them but then when you've got gloves on uh especially thicker gloves it makes it harder to, to find those buttons and and th that that's you know for a rider that, that's a big deal i don't know what i just pressed <laughs> i've been riding my, my harley so i just pressed the the ignition button which isn't a big deal the ignition button isn't used it's actually a multi-function button on the on the Gucci, so <laughs> We're good. So visibility-wise, this thing looks looks great during the day, and it, and at night when the sun goes down, and uh, you need more con you need that bright that backlight on, it makes it still super easy to see. Sometimes I, I use it during the day if it's a sh like a cloudy day or if it's uh, if you're going through like shaded areas, it gets a little bit more difficult to see without the backlight on. Uh, but even I had the backlight on the entire trip. Again, the having the backlight on didn't seem to really uh, affect battery uh, life all that much and so that was really nice uh the, the only uh, what i would say is it's you kind of have to go through uh some menus here to get to the backlight uh i wish that maybe one of these buttons they could dedicate to uh turning on that backlight without having to go through the menus that's just a that's just a small nitpick i, I would say um, this is another cool thing. So this device, uh, you'll see as I we rock the bike back and forth. This little this little image of a motorcycle uh, during the holidays. It was a little sled. You could tell with little presents on it. It was it was just neat that when it does these little updates, they'll change this image of this motorcycle. I'm guessing, you know, I, I don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, I'm sure if you follow me on on uh, my my social media feeds. I'll probably have something to say about, about, uh, I don't want to take this road. That road is crap. <laughs> um, probably because all those trucks are riding down it all day, every day. Um, so yeah, that's just one of those thoughtful things. Uh, they didn't have to, to add this little guy down here, but it's just cool. Uh, it's a nice little touch on a really simple device. So at, at first, the, the, the size of it felt a little small to me. Uh, it felt really light, and so I was, it, I was afraid that it was going to feel like I was going to break it. But having taking it off the bike, putting it in my pocket, and having it in my pocket, it, what's nice about it being light is that uh, you don't really... It, it doesn't weigh your pockets down. Um, and it's because of how small it is, you can throw it in your pocket and it's not this, this big bulky thing, uh, sticking out of your, <laughs> out of your leg. Uh, I guess the argument against having such a small light device is that you might uh, not remember that it's there and you might throw it in the wash. Um, but again, if <laughs> you're spending the, the, the beeline retails around $200, so not something that you want to do. You don't want to forget that uh, the beeline is in your pocket uh, when you throw it in the wash. 
So the one thing I will say about the Beeline, uh, it's not a complaint, but if you're someone who isn't a planner, I'm a planner, so when I take a trip where I actually need to use the navigation, uh, I'm gonna have the whole trip planned out. I'm gonna have stops programmed in, which you can do in the app. And I, th there's just not an issue for me as far as making ch changes mid-trip. Uh, so what I will say is if you are not a planner, you're not somebody that plans trips in advance and you're just kind of on the fly and then maybe you need some directions, you're gonna have to pull over and oh somebody's getting pulled over in front of me speaking of pull pulling over oh man that sucks you're gonna have to pull over i can't believe the timing on that <laughs> you're gonna have to pull over and uh pull your phone out uh plan out where you want to go uh and then and then you're on your way uh it's it's a it's a nip it's another kind of a nitpick but it's one of those things where if you're the kind of person that needs to mess around with your navigation on, on the fly as you go and you kind of want to do it at a stoplight or, or whatever it might be, uh, that's not something you're going to be able to do with the Beeline. Uh, the cool thing, other, another cool feature about the app, which is I'll, I'll throw this in too, is that uh, you can save your, uh, your kind of saves your last trips and you can also save trips that you're going to do often, uh, but it will save your last, uh, it's got like a recent history of the places that you've gone. So. You know, if you end up going somewhere and you're like, oh, you know, I gotta go back to that place uh, in the not so distant future, that trip should be in your trip history in the app and uh, you won't have to plug all that stuff in. So yeah, these are the things that I've noticed. These are the things that I've, I've kind of uh, wanted to determine and, and figure out in my first uh, few weeks of owning the Beeline. I, I again, I, I can, just rave about the the beeline i think it's an excellent device i think it's worth the price uh, if you wait wait around for deals uh i was able to get a uh a fr the mount for free which is like a 40 dollar mount i think it's made out of metal uh really easy to put on uh on the handlebars and it's it's solid, you know. It's not gonna it's not gonna move around. I put it right where I wanted it, and it's not it's not gonna move. So that's all I've got for you guys. If you guys have questions about the Beeline Moto, please leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And if I can't answer them right off the bat, I will hunt down that answer for you. But guys, if you like this video, you found it interesting, learned something, make sure you hit that thumbs up down there, which is the like button. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Guys, if you're out there riding, please be safe. Be kind to one another. My name is Eric, I'm that one guy. I am out.